This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. We're here in Abilene, Kansas at the 150th celebration of the Chisholm Trail, the Trails, Rails, and Tails event. And we came up from Woodward, Oklahoma. We brought 27 Longhorns up from Oklahoma. We uh, drove them in a parade at 10.15 this morning. Drove them out here to Old Abilene and uh, did a few parades around uh, the Old Town. And we also loaded them on a rail car and hauled them out of town with a steam engine. We do this a lot. But we've never loaded the steers on a rail car like that. That was pretty neat. That probably that hasn't been done in a long time. We have some pretty mature, experienced steers that we, we thought would load well. <clears throat> and we were pleasantly surprised to find that they did. It's a, the steam engine is loud and <laughs> it went really well. <laughs> they did a really nice job of building a kind of an authentic loading chute made out of wood. And, you don't see something like that very often and cattle load good in a wood chute so uh, it worked out really well and the, the car looked nice and they did a really nice job here. We've been doing this uh, since 1997. Not coming to Abilene but we've been doing parades and trail drives and stuff all over the place. So uh, we've been, we do about 15 of these a year probably. 1997 uh, there were, they were selling a bunch of big longhorn steers at Shamrock, Texas, and my dad's a cattle buyer, and he was there at Shamrock that day, and it was only him and a packer buyer bidding on those steers, and dad didn't want to see him go to slaughter, so he bought them, and we took them home and decided that we would promote our hometown rodeo with them, and we had a cattle drive from the ranch, which is about 10 miles to town. We got a few people together and drove about 60 head of steers from the ranch to town, and it got a really good news coverage and a friend of my dad's told him don't sell those steers I think we can do something with them and we we did a few rodeos with them that year and a few parades and then it just blossomed from there those steers would have went to slaughter had my dad not been there and bought them I guess as long as there's a demand for uh, somebody that wants us to bring them and show them off we'll do it uh, we uh, do some stuff around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We go to Greeley, Colorado every year. They've been to Detroit, Michigan. They've been to Ellsworth. Now they've been to Abilene. Um, we've had them at Russell, Kansas. Um, they've been all Amarillo. over the place. Amarillo, Tucumcari, New Mexico. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Um, I don't know. They've been hauled a lot. Well, Dad's at another uh, show in Elk City, Oklahoma right now, so he has two loads of them, and he has some other guys that help us down there, and then Bobby and her husband Brooks and I brought the steers up here, and some friends of ours from Ellsworth are helping us, and uh, go ahead and tell what you do. Um, general Ranch Hand, we have cow-calf and yearling operation at Woodward, and then these longhorn steers, so when the just make sure they have food and water, and then, then we get them in and sort them up and kind of for job specific. But they really have a pretty cush life compared to, I mean, their only job in the world is get loaded up every now and again and come to one of these deals and eat good hay and travel around and everybody likes to see them. So it's kind of amazing uh, all the places we've got to go with them. We never thought that we'd get to do this, but. It just kind of worked out that way. And yeah, they spend spend their days in a tall grass pasture with a river running through it. So it's kind of the dream life. And then come to town and get their picture taken. Uh, the ranch name is the Slash O Ranch. We have about 130 of them right now. It varies. You know, some of them that get really old will sell for uh, yard ornaments, basically. For somebody will buy three or four of them and turn turn out in the pasture in front of their house or something and. So, and some of those steers live to be 25, 26 years old. It's nice to get to come to some place like Abilene that's a very historic cow town and actually do something with, you know, authentic cattle and cowboys and load them on a train 
with a steam engine and not many people have ever seen anything like that or done anything like that in a long, long time. And we see these steers all the time, so we're used to them, but it's, it's special to see somebody's reaction that has never seen them before and to see how big the steers are and how gentle and docile they are. Uh, it's, it's neat to see people's reaction. Grain sorghum is one of the most important cereal crops worldwide, and Kansas leads the nation in its production. Over the years, sorghum has been either exported, used in animal feed domestically, or for other industrial uses. Recently, its use in the ethanol market has seen tremendous growth, with 30% of domestic sorghum typically going to ethanol production. Kansas Grain Sorghum is committed to sorghum research, market development, and education. Learn more at ksgrainsorghum.org.